So just to read that again, we are going to ease baste with tiny running stitches to hold the excess fabric. Um, the stitches are gonna smoothly ease rather than gather or pleat the fabric. Step one, wrong side up. Begin with a simple knot, little knot. And um, yeah, a simple knot and stitch a row of short, even basting stitches on the seam line with approximately 20 stitches to the inch, leaving the thread slack with a long tail. So they're definitely gonna be short if we're gonna do 20 in one inch. I'll try it. So do you guys need needles and thread? Do you wanna do it along with me? Or? You are okay. Yeah, you can bring it over here and cut it if you want. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Think we can do this, Pamela? Yeah. Twenty in an inch. Twenty sounds tiny. Yeah. It does not sound like a base. Okay. Okay. So this is my longer seam line. Okay. So I'm gonna put in the longer one. Okay. I want to mark an inch just for fun. <laughs> you guys do not have to do this, but I'm just curious if I can do 20 in one inch. I'm going to go from here to right here. I'm going to do my half inch too. See if I can get 10. Maybe we'll do half of that to try to get five. Okay. My thread. start here so five little even stitches one two oh it's tight three I can do four I don't know about five so they are tiny so I'm just basting like in and out so hopefully I'll post this video too so you guys can see it so I guess that kind of makes it even if I'm consistent that length. I think it's kind of nice having this longer needle. You get more stitches on it. I just realized I'm doing red thread on red thread. I did put in, um, I thread trace my sew line. Just because why not? Got very short basting stitches here. Okay. They're kind of even. Um, there they are. I feel like it's like 18 to an inch. Okay. Let's see here. Number two, add two more rows of identical basting, one eighth inch, one above and one eighth inch below the first line of stitches. So I have my first line of stitches. They want me to go an eighth below, an eighth inch above, exact same thing. Should I switch color thread, do you think? That'd be good. I'll do blue this time. Oh yeah, perfect, two. Since there's two of them, why not? Okay. Thread my needle. Thanks. Okay, it's okay. I got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, why not? Thank you. I'll just use that one for the next one. Where is thread? Yeah, we can put it right here and we'll thread it for the next one. Okay. Oh, well, she got the knot in already. <laughs> okay, one eighth inch. Should I? Is there a ruler here? Let me borrow this guy, yeah. Just so we know exactly where that is. This ruler is two inches wide, so halfway is one inch, halfway is half. Halfway is a quarter. So it's just that first line that runs parallel. That's one eighth inch. I'm using the pen for movie magic, just to show you guys. Obviously, I don't think you'd want to mark up your garment with a pen. Maybe you could do chalk. Okay. Then I'm going to. Okay, 
So same thing, just those teeny tiny stitches again. Okay, Let's see if I can make it even. It's kind of nice because you can kind of look at the weave on this woven fabric. I'm almost like counting the little weave, like every like four or five threads to try to help me be even. Pull that through. Not knot. Okay, I'll just leave. Oh, it's it not knotted. So you know what? Then I'll just knot it right now. You guys remember doing this and beginning sewing? Yeah. yeah. The secret was like pinning in that technique. So let's see if maybe this one might have more control and be better. Let's see. Okay. cut it, just kind of leave a tail, and do it again an eighth of an inch above my original sew line. So I added the knot for the second row. Three more little base stitches. Okay, that's step two. Number three, pull up the threads and evenly distribute the fullness until the section is the desired length. The author says that she sets a pin in at the end of the basting um, by picking up a very tiny bite. Then she pulls up the threads and wraps them around the pin. And she has this, oh, in a figure eight. Okay. Let's try that. So I know this is how long I want it, so that's probably good to have that handy. And then she grabs a pin, and what she does, okay, so this is where my knots are on this side, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna pull, because I didn't knot the other side, and I'm kind of just putting in a pin, I guess, to hold it. And then she's gonna pull the thread. I should pull all three, probably would be best. So this is already too short. Pull it out a little. Okay, so right now it's the same length, but it's definitely more gathered right here and more flat over here. So I have to like even that out. How's that? I think that's pretty good. And then the author is saying she takes the threads and wraps it around the pin. Maybe I cut my tails too short for me to like have that be super handy. That way it's almost like a knot because it's just wrapped around the pin. Okay, that looks good. They're the same length. Um, number four, shrink out the excess fullness with your iron until the eased area is smooth. Um, if there's a lot of ease or the fabric's difficult to ease, I pull up the ease basting some to shrink a little and then I pull it more. So she thinks with the iron we can like shrink this. Do you think I can do that? Like can I get the weave to be like closer together? That's what we're trying to do. Huh? I think it's like closer to each other because you know like on a loom like all these little 
threads are woven over under over under and there's like a little space I think they're going to get the threads squished closer no okay Let's see oh my gosh you guys they're the same length you don't see that they were definitely longer but with the heat I was able to make it be flat and be smaller so that's kind of cool I feel powerful <laughs> changed you um based and complete the seam just like a plain seam so now you do a regular plain seam so I guess right side together I got my sew lines here Have this right way. Yeah. so the final step amazing where's my oh yes so I'll baste it and then sew it like a plain seam that's a wonderful question. Let's find out. It's okay. You guys can do the basting. You don't need a video for that. That's fine. Okay. I think I love experimenting. So actually, I'm going to take it out. Okay. Let's get to the bottom of that. Okay. I'm going to take this back to the iron and let's see if I can make it. garment thread yeah it is longer so you can so that's good because when you wear it I guess you want that extra fabric to kind of come out anyways so okay so that's the gap yeah true huh like their exact shape and how much they need totally